What's up chickies, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over why should you buy the Constellation Phoenix or whether you should buy it at all. But before we get into it, don't forget about the T16000 giveaway. Hashtag sticks. If you want more entries, become a channel member or patron. And also don't forget to comment, uh, like and subscribe. Share the video everywhere. So we're going to be getting into this ship. Uh, why you might want to buy it, why you, why you might not want to buy it. Now, in my eyes, I don't think you would really need this ship per se because, you know, the 600i, it's... I feel like it's a little bit better. It has three size fives where this has two size fives and two gimbaled fours. Um, it also doesn't really make too much sense to have one of these right now like i guess with the 600i it does and well you can use these for like gunships but you know the andromeda does that really well and i, I would probably look at that a little bit more than looking at this but again this is a whole limited ship it's around 350 us dollars so that's just i'm gonna let you guys know that straight away is that this is a whole limited ship it's nothing special um it's just their luxurious um sort of transport ship so you know if you're looking for a ship like this i guess have a look at it see what you think of it if it really vibes with you then go for it now we're going to get straight into the components this has one size two radar one size two computer has two size two power plants two size two coolers now one size three shield generator so that has obviously been increased in size as we have known in the past well not too long ago actually it's got four size one fuel intakes two size one fuel tanks one size two quantum drive one size two jump drive and one size two quantum fuel tanks so with the weapons like i said it's got four size fives um but those are four size four gimbals now if it's like the andromeda two of those can be changed to size five and the others are permanent gimbaled fours and you have two size six man turrets which are four size twos and then you have four size four missile racks which are 24 size ones marksman ones which is really good so this ship is pretty much to be the elite tourism and VIP transport. Now, whether or not this will actually ever get a rework, I'm not too sure. It has two single bedrooms, a master bedroom, a full bar, a dining area, and a hot tub. So, it also features a sensor dampened cargo area. The Phoenix comes back with a Lynx Rover and a P72 Archimedes. So, with the Lynx Rover, it's the like upper class version of the Rover. So, it gives you, you know obviously that same sort of style and elegance that the uh, Phoenix would give you so you know whether or not you want to get this ship I wouldn't really suggest going out and getting it now you do have the other one of the uh, Constellation Phoenix Emerald and obviously this is one of three other variants where you got the Aquila you got the Taurus and you got the Andromeda now if you want to get these ships you have to be quick because they are hull limited there's nothing i feel too special about these i definitely wouldn't go out and go crazy about trying to get one um you know there's always going to be the opportunity to buy them now the interior itself is quite nice now whether or not it's going to be functional when the actual game comes to or you know that sort of service has been put into the game i'm not too sure there could be a rework it might not be a rework there could be some changes with the ship but uh yeah now you also have a point defense system like we've just been talking about you have ai controlled turrets that are dedicated to an onboard blade so whether or not this is in game i don't think it actually it's not in game but whether or not this comes out soon uh you know i'm not too sure so obviously it's to give that expected level of um control you've got that expected level of uh, relaxation and giving people that feeling that you know they're really safe on this vessel now don't get me wrong <clears throat> i feel like they would be really safe on this vessel but again i don't know if you would want to go out and go crazy and get one um you know this ship i would apply it to the same sort of standard as the 600i and the 600i probably would do it a little bit better obviously we know that's in a rework at the moment and i'm doing a video on that so don't forget to check that out when it comes out but yes it's i feel the 600i could do what this does and a little bit better now given that uh, rsi have given it its unique look um to their styling it's completely up to you if you want to get it or not i know i definitely wouldn't go out and go crazy about getting one but again it's up to you whether or not you want to go and actually make the effort to get one now i don't think they do it on war bond most of the time i don't think they do it on war bond at all so you just pick it up for its normal sale price and you can pick it up with credits you just gotta be really quick to get to it well mostly you know it does stick around for a little while and then it does disappear after a little bit 
So just like every other constellation, it's 61 meters long, it's 26 meter beam, 14 meters in height, 144 combat speed, 911 max speed, and it weighs 427,001 kilograms. So you, yeah, you can buy this in game as well, and you can also rent it to check it out. So that is completely up to you. Now this does have 80 SCU, and it does have 8 million stowage space on board. Uh, that's the USCU. So my end feeling of this ship is a great vessel. It looks cool, but really, is it worth getting? I don't think it would be because you can't even CCU to it as it is hull limited. But it's completely up to you in that regards of whether or not you want to go that far and try and get one of these. But again, like I said, other constellations can do this. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.